So I found the most underrated and addicting game that also has a mixture of Web3. This game is called Seekers of Tokane, and it's by Aurori. And if you're not familiar with who they are, they actually minted two years ago on the Solana blockchain. They now have this amazing game called Seekers of Tokane, and I'm here to tell you why it's so amazing. And the best part is their team now has over 60 people working for them, so they know, you know, they're gonna give you the good stuff. Plus, they have even better news. They're working with Epic Games to launch their game on their launcher, and this will bring in so many more eyes into the Web3 ecosystem and also Solana as a whole. So let's talk a little bit more about Rory. All you have to do to look at the game is go to rory.io. Right now it is in closed alpha, so you do need a code to get in. They've been giving a lot of the codes away on their X and also streams. I've also been able to give some away, so definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. So I've actually partnered with Aurori and just trying to spread the amazing word about this game. And I've been actually streaming the game quite a bit on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. PM. I'm trying to give more codes away so more people can experience how amazing this game actually is. So when you actually first join, you're able to get a egg. And from there, you actually incubate the egg to have a Nefty. And a Nefty is basically their Pokemon in a way where it's just way easier to explain it that way. Where you're able to basically play as this character and battle other Nefties in the land. So you have four different options. So you have a 25% chance of getting something that is either wind, fire, earth, or water. I enjoy having these elements because it brings more joy and also it makes the game so much better. So when you first jump in, you kind of go into this village style and you're trying to wonder where do I actually go? Well, all you have to do is walk a little bit and then you find the portal. But let's talk a little bit more about the village. So in the village, there's not that much right now because it still is in closed alpha and I know they have a lot more coming, but the main thing that you can do there is actually PVP. So they already have an arena that you can battle friends, battle other people, and see who can become victorious against your Nefty. Personally, I haven't done it because I only have a level two, and the highest level you can get is a level one, five. So I have a level one, two, so I definitely want to try and hatch more Nefties and try to get a better person so I can slap some people around. So what you have to do is you have to go through a portal and this is where you enter the land. So with this land is you basically explore all these cool, there's either the swamp or you get the ice. Personally, I like the ice because I'm from Washington. <laughs> so I enjoy the snow, I enjoy the wet and just the coldness, but also the swamp is really cool. And when you're going around, you're trying to find crystals because the more crystals you get, the more eggs you can hatch. So when you hit 500 crystals, you're able to unlock or hatch each Nefty. But there's a twist. When you are in the land, you go up against other Nefties that are in the wild. When you battle these Nefties, and if you do lose to them, you actually lose all of your crystals and your eggs you acquired. So you gotta be super smart, play with strategy, and don't lose. And this is where the battling system comes in. So when you go to a Nefty that's in the wild, they wait and then they'll come to you and they'll say, hey, I want to fight you. You just got to fight them. And then from there, that's when the battle begins. So each Nefty has different abilities. Some are more for defense, some are more for offense, and you just got to get a feel of the game. But this is where hype comes into play. So hype is basically what gives you better abilities to play with. So the more hype you save up, the better abilities you can have to kill your opponent. So in my opinion, I always try to save up my hype on the first round so I can hit them with a power up. And they can have like poison, they can have shields, they can have just a burst damage. There's so much in the game itself already and I know the Nefties will only get bigger and better. And another cool feature that they do have is you're actually able to swap other Nefties while you're playing against other ones in the wild. So if your Nefty does get super low on health, you can swap them out, bring in a whole fresh Nefty 
and kill that wild one. This was a thing I honestly had no idea about. So basically playing and figuring out the game itself and I'm like, oh, I could have been saving my eggs and not being killed and losing the land I just gained. And what makes this even more fun is they actually have a marketplace on Aurora.io. So you're actually able to sell your eggs and your nefties on a secondary market for Aurori. So Aurori is their token for their game. And at the time of making this video, it is at $1.55. But personally, I feel like there's so much room for growth on Aurori because it is a game and GameFi is only gonna get bigger and better. But yes, once you sell your eggs or your nefties on the secondary market, you're able to acquire Aurori. And this is amazing because then you can take that and you can just save it and buy other nefties if you want to, or just keep selling and saving up your Rory. A Rory as a game has so much more potential once the partnership goes through with Epic Games. And I know the community will only grow bigger and just bring in more people that just love to game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun doing it. I know the Aurora team is only gonna keep pushing to making amazing games that everyone can enjoy. My name is Trevin or Trevin versus NFT and I will see you in Web3.